The Seahawks start the 2020 season 1-0 and following a 38-25 win in Atlanta. Russell was in total command of the game and uh, had a beautiful game. But that's, that's, there's so many things that factor in on that. That's Shadi making the calls. It's all the preparation to get there. It's the guys coming through with their plays and all that. Russ would be the first to tell you. And uh, so it's, but it, it is a statement, though, of, of the offseason. The, this whole Zoom season, our guys uh, did a marvelous job. Russ was extremely involved, intricately involved with all of that, and uh, um, it just showed. It showed. We, we were together and tight and functioning well. I don't know what we did on third down. I don't know if it was any good, but it, we just were able to move the ball. Even when we were backed up with some penalty situations or sacks, we came right back and, and, and converted, and, and uh, that's confidence and belief. And, and uh, it's, um, they, These guys are... First game, they've, they've earned their way right here. They've earned their way to play like that uh, by the way they practiced. The Hawks would have kept fans on their feet the entire game if they were allowed in the building. Without them, it was up to the players to bring the energy and maintain it. We've talked about this from the jump. We've always said we was going to have to bring our own energy, and we do We do that every day. I mean, you guys would be at practice and how we fly around and have fun at practice, dance and doing all that, you know what I mean? So we have fun every day, and uh, that's, what, that's the most important part. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we got great leaders that keep the energy going. It was definitely weird at first, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, just going out there, not hearing any fans. And um, the good thing about, you know, that is just the, the team, the team, you know, uh, camaraderie, just coming together as one and, uh, you know, just feeding off one another. Um, once after that first series, we were good. It was definitely a weird feeling running out for pregame and introductions and you're on the road and you're used to the other team having fireworks and hoopla and fans and there's nothing it was just dead quiet um it's really it, it was definitely i'm glad we got this first one to really get a feel for hey this is what it's going to be like for the foreseeable future we got to really embrace it i think now going through it once will, will help still find a way to bring the energy i thought you know the sideline did a great job of just communicating being engaged throughout the whole entire game players were on our stuff i mean we we're on our stuff from the very first from the time we got off the bus to the time we're about to get on the bus, we're still on it. And I think that's been great, just the professionalism of how we prepared. It's easy to feed off the sidelines when the scoring starts on the opening drive and includes two Chris Carson touchdowns in the first quarter. I don't think there's a back in the league that runs as hard as Chris. Uh, you know, I think he set the tone early on when his run plays, you know, just running over their defense. Everybody touched the ball, Jen. I mean, it was, it was spread around and we've always been great at that. But I think today was one of the better days that we were able to do that in so many different ways from Obviously, the deep throws, the mid-range throws, the quick throws, the, the screens and, and the nakeds and the play action, all of that, right? And so you got to use it all because we can't. I mean, we, we have all the talent, we have all the ability, and we got to use it all. And, and, and then on top of it, we got to be able to use, run the ball. And it starts with their offensive line. They did a great job. Wilson threw four touchdown strikes, and this 38-yard touchdown pass to DK Metcalf came on fourth and five after the Falcons made a huge stop. I saw them celebrate, you know, it was third down and they were, they were celebrating over there. And I was like, you know what, let's just go for this year. And so me and Shadi are on the same page and, uh, you know, we just took a shot down the field. Um, you know, I had other options and stuff like that, but, you know, he got by his guy uh, like he always does. He finds a way to do it. And, uh, you know, he's one, he's, me and him have spent so much time together this off season, despite everything going on, we've been able to really, you know, work at our game. He's had a tremendous training camp. He's had a tremendous off season. One of the best receivers in the world. You want to get him the ball. Um, we got so many guys that can make plays, and he was one of them to get open on fourth down there. DK is a big time player. Um, whenever he's singled up man to man, we feel like you know he's going to win that battle. And uh, you know, yeah, like you said, I, I was doing my job up front, but I, I I saw the ball go up. I saw him one on one, and I knew what time it was. I knew it was over. You know what I mean? And uh, as soon as he caught it, you know, I, I went and celebrated with Russ. You know, it was a, it was a dime that he threw. Um, but he, again, he's a big time player and we look forward to him making more of those plays throughout the season. Newcomer Greg Olson extended the Hogs lead on the following drive on a pass Russ rifled in from short range. He just did a great job of sleeping by that guy. And I threw it pretty quick to him pretty, pretty early in anticipation and he just whipped his head around. He's got great hands, so he wasn't, uh, the ball got on him pretty quick and I think he was ready for it for sure. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna, that he was coming to me if we got the right look. I got a little banged around getting off the line. I didn't have a real clean release. So I was kind of weaving through and I kind of just broke it off short and then the ball was just like stuck on my face. So 
I don't, that was one of those where the ball kind of catches itself. The Seahawks offense left no doubt they can be dangerous. And defensively, there's no doubt Jamal Adams is a playmaker. He is such a marvelous football player. You just got to put him in positions uh, to, to give him a chance. And, and then stuff happens. And uh, I thought Kenny called a terrific game uh, to keep him off balance, even though they put up a bunch of yards because we were way ahead. Um, I, I, liked, I liked our attacking style, and I, our, our guys really played to it well. Jamal is one of the best players in the game. He brings the, the energy, he brings the focus, he brings the execution. I mean, he's, you know, I, I haven't seen too many football players like him in, in my lifetime, and uh, he can do it all. The defense made four fourth down stops today. The offense converted each opportunity into points, which kept both sides energized throughout the game. I thought probably the play of the game was uh, Marquise Blair on, on the fourth down when they faked the punt, and he makes a great hit to knock the ball loose. And, and uh, Rook, Freddie Swain jumped up, made a great recovery to get the ball. Um, so I, I think what happened in the game to really make the difference was the defense winning on fourth down. It gives us a lot of confidence, a lot of energy on that side, like you said. Brother. That's the easy way to keep the keep the, the energy level going when the offense going and we get stops. I mean, everybody's coming off the side. We got our hype men on the sideline, so uh, it's just it's dope. You know, I mean, our coaches are all into it, just like us. So uh, it's easy to come off to the sideline. You, you know, I see Dre and he's hyped up, he's dancing too. So uh, we love it. For them to go 0 for 4 on fourth down is uh, is crazy. In in today's world, with teams being more aggressive and going for it, I mean, you saw us with the big pass to DK going for it on fourth down. That's kind of the new NFL. So for our defense to, to tighten up there and then of course you know then the, the fake punt forced the turnover it was um those were huge momentum shifts in the game and uh you got to give a lot of credit to our guys on defense for making the plays when they had to all of that results in a 38 25 win and ties the franchise record for most points scored in a season opener the hawks open their home schedule next week in a sunday night showdown against cam newton and the patriots